They really are beautiful, aren't they? Each and every one of them, peacefully asleep without a care in the world. I don't know what it is about sleep and dreams that is so mesmerizing. It's also mysterious, you know? So unreachable. Maybe that's why we try so hard to understand it. What do you think? <sighs> Stop right there, this. Put your hands where I can see them, that. Don't you get bored saying that all the time? I don't have any weapons, see? You have the upper hand, and you have the entire night to arrest me. You could at least humor me for a minute. One less minute for me to spend inevitably decaying away in a jail cell. I can already foresee how the rest of my days will go. Sixty seconds is all it will take. I promise. It is nice to speak to someone who is actually awake, for one. The sleeping mind is both fascinating and very incoherent a lot of the time. Also, people do not really tend to be up for a chat when they are in the midst of a dream. I can't imagine why. Thinking about it, I haven't seen you before, new hire. If you were from another division, I would know, trust me. The police and I are what you might call good old friends. They absolutely adore me. Anytime I'm around, they do their best to come and find me. So much so that they've sent every detective they have my way. What is arresting if not an excuse to spend time together, after all? You are a newbie indeed. This must be very exciting. If I'm your first case, then I should make a good first impression. All the more reason for us to get to know each other well. We will spend a lot of time together, I'm sure. I would love to be your first, one, and only. Ouch. Such a blunt rejection. My heart aches. You shouldn't be so negative. That no is really a not yet. There might be more to me than meets the eye. You never know. Ah, that's unfortunate. Now that I know you're new, I can't let you arrest me. There's too much I want to know about you first. I wonder what kind of dreams you have. I'm curious to see for myself. Maybe I'll add them to my collection. And then we'll see each other. Every night. Alright, detective. No need to be so aggressive. My minute is up, I know. We can get back to the chasing soon. Hold your taser down and have a look. There's something I'd like to show you first. What do you think of this pearl? It's shiny and perfectly round. It lacks any imperfections. Despite how small it is, it is very expensive. You have a good eye. It belongs to the owner of this house. She is over there, on the stage, snoring away, while all the other attendants of the party are here on the dance floor. When awake, she dresses herself up in all sorts of jewelry, flaunts her wealth like it's nobody's business. When she is asleep, she is just like everyone else. Just like me. Just like you. None of us are that different, really. But if you want to play the roles of detective and criminal with me so badly, I'd be very happy to do so. As much as I would love to stick around now, 
prison is not exactly where I'd love to spend the rest of my evening. Or evenings. I'd much rather be out in the light. Watch people pass by and wonder all sorts of things about them. Right now, I wonder how you drift off to bed at night. What the embrace of sleep feels like to you. If you sink easily. Or if despite your mind being foggy and tired, you'd toss and turn for hours. I wonder how many times of day you blink the sleep off your eyes. There is a point where your eyes start to relax, unfocus, go heavy, and every little distraction is an invitation for sleep to creep into the corners of your mind. Eventually, you'll be pulled into its merciless hold and lured back into a land full of dreams. You'll find yourself relaxing against your will, drifting and drifting, until you lose awareness into a peaceful oblivion. You won't be able to fight. You'll let it hold you down. Down. Down into sleep. This is a word of advice for whenever our next encounter is. Speaking to me for too long is a free ticket to letting me into your mind with no resistance. Want to detain me still? I wonder how far you'll get before you fall asleep like everyone else has. Judging by your wobbly steps, it won't be long. Don't worry, I will come your way instead. It will be so much easier if we speak up close. All you have to do is sit down and I will approach you. Yes, right there. It's getting a little hard to keep yourself standing up, isn't it? And your eyes keep closing against your will. You don't have to look at me if you don't want to. It's okay if your eyes unfocus. Just let them drift where they want. Drifting far away to a distant place. You don't have to close them yet. But it's fine if they close of their own accord. Let them relax, like the rest of your body. Starting from your face, your eyes, relax your neck, your shoulders. Feel every bit of them relax. Your arms and hands. They relax. And feel heavy. Your whole body is beginning to feel heavy. So heavy. You let your tired hands rest on your lap as you relax. Relax your fingers, your hands, your arms, and back up to your chest. Relax your abdomen, your stomach. Relax your thighs and knees. Relax your legs fully, your calves. Your ankles, your feet, relax every bit of you. Every part of you is so relaxed now. More relaxed than it's been in your entire life. And you're going to continue relaxing for me. 
If you haven't done so already, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. You could open them if you really wanted to, but it feels so much better to close them, doesn't it? So just close your eyes for me. The only thing remaining is my voice as you sink deeper. Good. Let everything relax. And take a deep breath in. And out. Keep sinking into relaxation. And let go of everything else. Everything else. On the edge of consciousness. Give everything up. All you'll have to do is relax. Listen to my voice. Follow along. Let me have a good look at your sleeping face. Rest your face in my palms. Here. Keep your eyes closed and melt into my hands. What shall I do with you now, little detective? Getting your name would be a good first step. Your badge is in your jacket, isn't it? Nah, here it is. Oh, what a cute little picture. So serious and proper. In comparison to your relaxed face right now, it's like night and day. I really can't wait to see everything your mind has to offer. <sighs> Horrible timing. Well, this will have to be for another day. Lay here. Your colleagues will arrive soon. You can sleep now. <sighs> I wish I could spend more time with you. But I must take my leave. Until we meet again, detective. I will see you in your dreams. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo here. And I just wanted to thank you all for listening to yet another one of my audios. This one is very interesting, and I think that I like the way that the story is going, so the next few videos you should expect to be part of the series. Very special thank you, and shout out to all of my patrons who you're going to be seeing on the screen here. I know the redesign's a little bit um iffy, so I'm going to be working on a few iterations of it for right now. But yeah, there's just so many of you, I literally had to redesign it. Like, it was taking, like, a long time to do this. Um, a very, very special thank you to my beloved pets over on my Patreon. They're my highest tier subscribers and they deserve so, so much love and joy. Again, thank you all so much for listening. I have been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mm -hmm.